Hey, what's up, YouTube? King James here. With the merger of Cold War and Warzone, there's a ton of new weapons in the game. Over the next coming weeks, I'm going to be bringing you a lot of gun builds, so stay tuned and make sure that you're subbed to the channel. But for right now, I'm going to be showing you one of the Battle Pass weapons, the Groza. It's a new AR, and it rips, and I think you need to check it out. So in this season's Battle Pass, at level 31, you get the Groza. Everybody gets it whether they actually bought the Battle Pass or not. And when you get it, you're going to get the base version of the gun that actually works pretty good right out of the box. But with the right attachments, this gun becomes a lot better. And I'm going to show you my build. Just before I do that, though, I want to say thank you to everybody who's recently subbed to the channel. I really appreciate all the love and support. And if you haven't subbed to the channel, consider subscribing because it really does help small content creators like myself. All right, let me show you a little bit of gameplay of me using it and then I'll show you my build. So here's a couple of clips of me using the gun. Here's right up close. This guy had an SMG and I was still able to take him down. I shot first but it goes to show you that an AR with the right attachments works. Here's mid range, nice and smooth, was able to take that guy down, ran in the storm and picked up his gear. And then a second here, this is out on, on the roof. This is a bit of a longer range, still no problem getting that guy down. It hits hard and has really nice range. Here I am in war zone on the train. This guy tried to jump on. He stumbled a little bit, but was able to laser him down. This gun works great at medium and close range. So I've been playing a lot of Resurgence Trios lately, and this loadout works amazing in that game mode. Most of your fighting is up close or sort of close medium range. And these two guns are really excel in that game mode. In close range, the Mac 10 probably has the fastest time to kill of any gun now, especially with the nerf on the doof doof. And at medium, close medium range, the Groza is really good. I like it. I would just want to use a new gun. I'm kind of getting tired of the Kilo. Um, they nerfed it as well. So I think we're looking for a new meta, but the Groza is fun. And with the right attachments, it's really good. So let me show you my Groza attachments. So unlock most of the attachments that you need to make this gun pretty good. You need to get it about level 20. That'll give you some that'll make it work, but you gotta get to about level 40 before you sort of get the primo attachments that really work nice. And if you wanna know how to level your gun really fast, I made a video on how to fast level guns using plunder. I'll also link that here, you wanna check that out. But if you've already got your gun leveled, here's the best attachments for it. So for the muzzle, I'm using the KGB Eliminator. This has muzzle flash concealment and vertical recoil control, which this gun needs. It has a little bit of vertical recoil problem, but you can sort it out with the right attachments. But you can see here, you get good control and accuracy. For the barrel, I'm using the 16.2 GRU Composite. This gun here gives you bullet velocity, which you really need on the Cold War guns. You can see here, it adds a whole bunch of range. That really helps. So for the optic, I'm using the Axle Arms 3X. This is sort of the closest scope I think we can get to the VLK 3.0. It's not as good. I kind of wish I could put a VLK 3.0 on this gun. It'd be awesome. But this is about as close as you can get. And it works pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Not great, but pretty good. So for the underbarrel, I'm using the Spetsnaz Speed Grip. This really helps the gun because it gives you both vertical and horizontal recoil control. And for the ammunition, I'm using the Spetsnaz 60 round drum. This gives you 60 bullets, which is amazing. You can knock two and maybe even thirst a guy with this much ammo. It really works nice and you don't have to reload all that often. And even with that, the reload on this gun is still pretty fast. I find that it really works great. All right, that's it guys. That's my build. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you built this gun out? Are you using slightly different attachments? Give me your thoughts. I'd love to try some other builds if you have something that's really working for you. And as always guys, if you don't see me in multiplayer, if you don't see me in Warzone, it's only a matter of time, baby. King James out.